vandals targeted a newspaper photographer in Olympia overnight, and the victim thinks his work as a journalist is what got him in trouble. Como Force Joel Marino is live in Olympia, where the photographer's office is also damaged. Joel? Uh, Dan, I'm at the headquarters for the Olympia newspaper. You can see the spray-painted message right here, Overman Snitch. Now, they're referencing Tony Overman. He is an award-winning journalist here. Now, around the corner, there are more than a dozen windows that are defaced, but it is the attack on Overman's home that worries him the most. Tried to cover it up as much as I can. An anarchist symbol is underneath you know, all the paint. Tony Overman also replaced the truck tires vandals punctured, but can't do much about the corrosive goop poured across the paint and windows. You can see how hard it is. Overman is an award-winning photographer with the Olympian newspaper, where vandals also left their calling card. They caused $12,000 in property damage and called Overman a snitch in graffiti outside the building. Overman believes anarchists are trying to intimidate him from taking their pictures during public marches. This is an organized effort to name me specifically and to come to my house and terrorize me. That's really freaking scary. Overman was assaulted last year when a woman spray painted his face and camera as he photographed an anti-police brutality march. His published photos were later used to identify and convict her. Overman's images of a man throwing rocks at a bank were also used by prosecutors. Boom, off they run and disappear. Overman that believes that group is now sending him a message, uh, but he won't back down. I'm not gonna live in a town where a group of mass thugs gets to just wander the town terrorizing people. That's not, I'm, I'm not going to allow that to happen. As a journalist, I'm going to tell that story. The photographer they... says it's ironic that anarchists who exercise their right to free speech may be behind an effort to deny a free press. Hopefully the community recognizes that, that an attack on a journalist is an attack on that community. And here's a live look at some of the extensive damage across this building. Now, this vandalism is just the latest in a string of incidents around Olympia. Past targets have included City Hall, a bank, as well as the police department. Live here in Olympia, Joel Marino, Como 4 News.